the last bit that we're going to add to this application is going to be the profile page and so that page is going to be a standalone page so we need to create that inside the pages folder and i'm going to call that profile.js and of course it's going to be the usual definition so we're going to call this profile and arrow function and then just say export default profile so that's the skeleton so that we, we know that we're going to be um, running this okay so what what, uh, what do we want to do in this profile well first of all i would like to just display the username of the person who's currently logged in and say something like you know welcome back uh steve for example and i would also like to give them the opportunity to upload a profile image okay so we're going to do quite a few things here but let's start with trying to display the actual username of the person who is logged in so in order for me to do that i will of course need to go through quite a few um, steps and i need to somehow grab that information now we do know that because we've been using this approach for a while so we're going to bring in the layout and we're going to say layout user and then just evaluate that user and then i'm going to have I'm just going to put this in from my ready-made example which is just going to be an empty fragment and i have this h1 with a welcome back and then just print out the name of the user okay so we know that this is going to work but of course we also need to make sure that we grab that user from somewhere so what we need is of course const user loading uh, and that is equal to use fetch user which auto imports for us and then of course what i missed was a return statement here which is going to be the JSX structure that we want to return okay so now we have the user so that's great and actually probably we can go and test this right so let's go and, and try to test what happens if I go to profile and there we go so we get welcome back test the user so now if I log out and obviously we need to somehow fix this so that there's no user I don't want to see his welcome back uh, message but we're going to do that in just a second so let's go back to home steve and what was it test one two three four let's just log in and now we have the profile here now we get welcome back steve okay so that's perfect that works as expected and now we can do log out okay cool so now we have that greeting so let's think about how we want to manage or potentially manage the redirection right so you want to make sure that if someone is logged in they see the profile page but if someone's not logged in i don't want to see that empty welcome back and then you know wavy hand uh, emoji now the easiest way to do this is going to be by doing it via the get server side props so i'm going to say uh, export async function get server side props and we are going to uh yeah we're going to use the request um and, and you will see why because i'm now going to call get token from server cookie request okay so i want to make sure that there is a json web token if there is no json web token then i want to return and redirect the user to destination just forward slash like so okay and that's the if statement otherwise if there is a json web token then i want to make sure that the json web token is actually valid okay so i want to make sure that my json web token get token from service like cookie request again actually i don't need to call this again because i already called that so i can just say const response await fetcher and let's do 
uh, yeah, process dot env dot next public strappy URL forward slash users and me. And of course, I'm going to pass headers and the authorization header and with the bearer of the JSON web token, right? So with this, we're going to make sure that we actually have a valid logged in user. And this is something that we've done before, right? And this is actually going to be response data immediately. And then what we can do is read that response data and do something with it. Now, what I'm going to do is, you know, we want to display a sort of profile image for this particular user, for the user who's logged in. But what if they don't have any? So I want to probably resort to a default avatar. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go into my content manager in Strapi and I'm going to click content type builder and I'm going to go through what I have for the user here. Now, of course, these are all built in fields that I can't modify, but there's nothing stopping us from adding another field. I'm going to add a quick text field here and I'm going to call this avatar. And I'm just going to hit finish and press save. So now every time when you query for the user, you will also get back this avatar text property. Why is that good for us? Well, it's good for us because I could now read that avatar information from the slash user slash me call. And I can just do something like response. Actually, there's a typo there, response data, like so. So I could say response data dot avatar. So if it exists, then just return me that avatar whatever I will have there. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a string that is going to say default avatar. And we're going to return props avatar. And because I'm returning these as props, I can, of course, go ahead and extract this in the profile right here. And because I'm extracting it, I can now do all sorts of things with this. And I'm just going to say after this H1 to check the avatar. And if it's equal to the default avatar, which, you know, it will be by default, I'm just going to have, let's say, I'm going to have a div. And in that div, I'm going to have an H4 that says select an image to upload and then I'm going to have an input type file with an unchanged handler and that's going to be upload to client and I will also have a button here um, and in fact I'm going to copy some of these classes over from my example so class names and type is equal to submit and what are we going to do here? Well, I'm going to have an on-click handler. It's going to be called upload to server. And the text of the button is going to say set profile image. And then just make sure that the button is closed and the diff is closed. So what this will allow me to do is if someone is logged in. So let's actually go here and let's try to go to profile now. And you see, I no longer get that page. I automatically get redirected back to the main page, which is a good start. Um, and then let's log in as Steve, one, two, three, four. Just hit login, go to profile. Oh, and of course I need to write these uh, handler functions. So let's just write them um, real quick. So I have to have one that is called upload to client, which is going to take an event and then it's going to do something. We'll figure it out in the next video and I also have upload to server where I will have an async function that will do something as well. So I'm just leaving those there just so that I can come here and show you what I have. Right, so I have welcome back Steve, which is great. And because I know that, you know, Steve doesn't have an avatar. In other words, the avatar field from Strapi comes back as empty 
I can basically check that and I can say, well, you know, you don't have a profile picture, go ahead and upload one. Okay, so we're going to work on uploading this particular image and we're going to see how that can be done. And we're going to do that in the next video.